Meditation, it's something that I spend so much time thinking about and being hard on myself, but not actually doing. And it's just one of these things I wanted to mystify because it's like so overwhelming and I know it's important. So instead of, you know, maybe bring in someone that might be a traditional expert in meditation, I brought someone that I think is super inspiring and relatable and funny. And this is Doug. So Doug, tell me a little bit about yourself and why I'm interviewing you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Doug and you're interviewing me because you asked me and I'm so grateful. I'm not a meditation expert. I'm somebody who started meditating five years ago and I was that person that was like, I don't know how to do it. Everybody's talking about it. I felt Zen shamed because yeah. I felt like everybody's talking about meditation, but I don't meditate and I don't know how to do it. And then I tried and it was really hard in the beginning and, and I thought it had to be a certain way, but I kept with it. And then I started loving it. I started feeling better. And, and so I'm not an expert. I'm just somebody that like, does it and have a positive experience with it, but because I don't do it perfectly and because I believe there's so many ways to meditate, I find that people ask me about it. And so when you reached out, the one thing you said, you're like, hey, I'm doing this video on meditation and like you seem to break meditation down and make it seem really human. I would love you to be in this video. And that was like, I'm so happy that my love for it resonates with somebody else. So I'm happy to be here because hopefully somebody out there that feels the same way we have felt, yeah gets on in on the meditation game. So I think meditation is intimidating because there's so many people talking about it. They're talking about it at the water cooler at work. They're talking about it on TV, on social media. And some people are like, oh, I'm so zen, I meditate. <laughs> and then everybody's like, well, I try it and it's so hard for me. And then other people are like, oh, it's hard for me too. It's hard for me too. So there becomes this information in the zeitgeist that meditation is actually really hard. Right. And then there are certain types of meditation where it's like, here's a 20 minute meditation and somebody that's never done it before is like, oh my God, like yeah. we, we walk before we run. Right. And so I'm here to help you today, bust through some of these myths and limiting beliefs of what meditation is and what it isn't and whether it's hard or whether it's easy. They call it a meditation practice for a reason. Right. Because we're going to practice it. Yeah. And you know what? Meditation for you is whatever you say it is, whatever feels right for you, whatever works for you, that can be your meditation. So you can just stop listening to all the other chatter about like what you should be doing and what's right and what's not right. If it works for you, it's for you. Yeah. That's such a like important thing to remember because I think when you think meditation, it's not like you should be hard on yourself or judgmental. It's like the opposite, but it's also like you get so as humans all day, every day, there's so many thoughts in and out, in and out. And so it's like, how do you silent that? And how do you not judge yourself for being like, I'm bad at this? Or right. like, we don't need to sit in a room that looks like a meditation room to meditate. I mean, it's right. nice though. It's not the average person's <laughs> house, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> the common things I hear are, I don't have time to meditate. Yep, that's me. <laughs> a meditation could be as simple as a minute. Yeah. So if you make the time, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Uh, and also begin at the beginning, mm -hmm. start with one minute, start with two minutes. We, we don't have to start like in a three hour meditation. Yeah. Some people do that, it's yeah. not for me. But also the one thing I hear people say is, I can't meditate because my mind is so crazy. I can't yep. meditate until my mind slows down. That's what meditation does. The benefit of meditation is the active practice of getting in touch with yourself and your surroundings to quiet your mind. Yeah. And so if you start meditating and a thousand thoughts come into your mind, big deal. Yeah. Like don't judge yourself, right. like allow it to just kind of flow in and pay attention to what is coming in. Yeah. Like, are you thinking about this client? Are you thinking about this relationship or what you're not doing or where you're falling short? Pay attention to that. That's the place where you can breathe some energy and love into and forgive yourself. Like, yeah. thank God we're not perfect. Like, right. thank God. I know. There's no right, wrong way to meditate. Is that what we've learned? I think there's no wrong way to meditate. and. I always tell this to people when I'm like, just try this, just try this. I'm like, if it's awful and you hate it, like A, tell me and B, like don't ever do it again. Mm -hmm. Like don't ever do it again. No one's ever come up to me and been like, I don't like meditating or it ruined my life. It's not gonna negatively impact you. It really isn't. So why not try it? 
So don't be hard on yourself with your meditation practice. That's the opposite. It just just try. What works for you might be look different than what does works for someone else. And so I am clueless when it comes to meditation, but I do feel less clueless now. I feel a little more empowered when it comes to meditation. I feel empowered hanging around your energy. <laughs> and I will also say this, if you've made it to the end of this video, you're still watching, this is a sign that it is your time and your turn to meditate. So if you watch this long, there's, you're, 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 you're invested. You're a seeker, you're seeking it. Then this, this is your solution. Just take some time and learn to meditate and try it. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Sarah.